Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and today I'm in New York City, one of my favorite places. I love it here for the energy, the vibrancy, the culture, but also because many of my favorite brands from around the world have boutiques that you can actually go and visit. So today I thought it'd be fun to go visit one of my favorites, Carmina Shoemakers, at their new Madison Avenue boutique. So join me as we walk inside and we discover the quality, the craftsmanship, and tradition of Carmina Shoemakers. Carmina. Oh, hi, oh, So great to see you. Likewise. Uh, How are you doing? It's great to be back in New York, and especially after our fantastic trip to Mallorca. It right? was fantastic. Wow. Well, I mean, what a beautiful boutique. And I have to say, <laughs> every single time I'm in one of the stores, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store. I mean, the variety of models here is incredible. Sometimes too many. Too many. I mean, do you many. know how many? I mean, how many shoes is it really here? Has anyone done the official tally? I think we have around 3,000 pairs. 3,000 pairs 3, of shoes. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is one of the things that I, I think I love most about Carmina. I mean, of course, the quality, the craftsmanship, and the yeah. tradition. But I have to say that amongst all of the, the brands out there, and there's a lot of great ones, yes. that Carmina has developed such a large, you know, kind of collection or portfolio of shoes. Yeah. It's really astounding. I mean, there's gotta be more models than one could even begin to count. My granddad designing patterns, it's been, it's, he's been designing, yeah. designing them his entire life. Yeah. Well, so. how many years now is it for the family, right? Because we were in Mallorca at the factory and we right. met what? three generations. And again, that speaks to that tradition hmm. within the family of shoemaking. Yeah. That's like, what, 165 years or something yes. we're talking about? Yeah. Um, I remember we saw papers of 1863, <laughs> but we always say, say, say yeah. 1866. 1866. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, uh, under the current kind of branding of Carmina, I mean, this mm -hmm. was something that your grandfather started with your grandmother, Correct. Carmina, Correct. you know, back in the what, 1980s, 1990s? 1990s. 1990s. Yes. So 30 years of work here, you know, developing these beautiful models. And, you know, again, there's nothing new. I mean, the shoe's been around for a long time, but the beauty of a, of a shoe, in my opinion, exists in that nuance. You know, with Carmina, what is a very approachable price point, uh, you find all those nuances of the quality, the craftsmanship, and of course, the tradition of the family. Of course. You know, here in a pair of Carmina shoes. Yeah. You know, I mean, of course, everything we're talking about Goodyear welted here, but it all starts with the upper, the upper yeah. right? You want to invest in a high quality upper mm -hmm. because you're going to run through the soles as it, and as it's Goodyear welted, you're going to be able to resolve it over and mm -hmm. over again, right? So we want to make sure that we have a good upper, good finishes, that a good pattern so it stays together yeah. through the course of the time. Mm -hmm. And then the sole is something that then you can resole it as you want, yeah. as it was originally, or you can play with it and, you know, have yeah. fun with it and yeah. change it. Change it up. Yeah, I mean, I guess that that is, you know, the, the reason uh, and why a Goodyear welting is so important is that once you're, you know, at a certain price point and investing in the craftsmanship, which is like what you said, the upper, I mean, the fine leather, the construction, right? Uh, the shoes are, are built to last. I mean, there's no, there's no, you know, lifetime. I mean, they last forever. Really. They require a little bit of care mm -hmm. because sometimes people walk in and they think that because the shoe is well made, it's going to last forever. Yeah. It does need. <laughs> it does need a, a little bit of uh, little your bit, TLC. Yeah. Yes, you <laughs> have to take care of it. Yeah. But if you do. It's a yeah. shoe that you can pass down. Yeah, well, that's where we come in, you know, yes. with our shoe shine tutorials and everything. <laughs> uh, but I mean, you do make a great point, which is that, um, you know, you have to care for something properly. 
Exactly. Uh, even something of high quality in order for it to last. And as I always say, that if you know how to care for something properly, like a pair of shoes, mm -hmm. they will last forever for a long time. Totally. Uh, and that is what I think opens the space for then someone to say, you know what, I'm going to spend the extra money to invest in totally. quality. Totally. And then it's like it's like our skin. Don't mm -hmm. you put moisturizer yeah. every day? Same, Same thing. Shoes. Yeah, a little bit of polish, as I say, goes a really long way. It does. Uh, on a pair of shoes, you know, shoe trees using a shoehorn. I mean, it's not it's not hard work, uh, but you know, you do have to be. I it's think caring. deliberate. It's care. Yes. Yeah. So for someone that you know might be new to the world of high quality shoes, you know, mm -hmm. someone that's looking. Uh, to make an investment in their first pair of proper shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it uh, that really separates a pair of Carminas? I mean, the nuance, the details that, you know, that of course, you know, are the reason I fell in love with a beautifully sculpted pair of shoes. Um, you know, but maybe you yeah. could point some of them out for <laughs> us for the uninitiated. I think that one of the mm -hmm. good parts of the company is yeah. that we're still honoring the tradition, mm -hmm. right? We have modern touch or touch or mm -hmm. we're still relevant in a way that our shapes yeah. tend to our last our silhouette mm -hmm. tends to be a bit more contemporary some say it, some say it's more european some mm -hmm. say it's more but it's just i noticed that that's one thing that yeah. people especially here in america pay close attention yeah. to and that's a that's an interesting point it's a good point of course uh because you know, the last is, you know, the shape of the shoe, right? Yeah. And so you can have the same model from several different makers or several different companies, and it could be a totally different shoe. And at the end of the day, I mean, to, the beauty of a pair of uh, fine shoes is in the sculpture, totally. right? And it's, the silhouette. It's the bone. And, and that is, that's the shape, that's, right? That's the most important part of a shoe. And so how is it? I mean, does Carmina just have one shape or are there many? No, we have... We may have 15 last. 15 different last, okay. 15 last, Rain and Forest being our best sellers mm -hmm. worldwide, have been in the company since day one. And then we have newer additions, well, the Inca, the one you customized, yeah. of course. That's right. Um, and then we have newer lasts, like the Yoret, for instance, okay. that are trying to give a little bit more room on the toe mm -hmm. area a flatter, be more casual. And I think that that is important in that, you know, one of the things that's great about discovering a, a great shoe brand like Carmina is that opportunity to, you know, to discover the different shapes, right? And right. it's not just walking in and saying, okay, I want that shoe, but, you know, really, you know, understanding that there are different silhouettes, like this one right here, you know, the museum calf, yeah. calf to Oxford that has, you know, that chiseled toe. I mean, you know, someone might be slightly more kind of fashion forward and, exactly. you know, wants a slightly, you know, I don't know, younger aesthetic and you get it in that shoe. Totally. Whereas someone like me that enjoys my nice almonds, you know, the Inca uh, is a beautiful yeah. last. And Inca then this one right here is even beautiful with its, you know, I mean, it's kind of a soft square. Exactly. Rain last, semi, semi square toe. It gives you enough room on the toe area and a high end step. Yeah, that's great. That's the beauty. It's not mm -hmm. only aesthetical, it's yeah. how it fits. Yeah, which is important as well, right? Very. So, I mean, do Americans, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we have a reputation for having wide feet. Yes, you do. You know, <laughs> is that something that, um, you know, that has, uh, I mean, has Carmina kind of evolved its, its range at all totally. to account for that? Ever since we opened our first location down on 45th Street, we've developed three lasts in triple E. Oh, really? Things okay. that when we hadn't come to, to the United States, we didn't have because we didn't know different market. So yeah, we've developed Forest triple E, Rain triple E, um, Detroit triple E. One of the best accepted in the US is the Detroit last. Mm -hmm. It's It offers a very casual look, mm -hmm. but it gives everyone this kind of wider fitting that they're looking for. Yeah, which is important because, I mean, one of the things that I think, I mean, one of the hallmarks of a Goodyear welted pair of shoes uh, is the comfort, right? They might be a little bit stiff in the beginning and they need right. to, of course, be broken in. Uh, but once you break in a pair of Goodyear welted shoes, um, you know, they really, they kind of mold to your feet in many ways, right? That's, that's exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, they have that saying, like a trusty old pair of shoes. There's a reason, uh, you know, that that euphemism exists and it's because 
you know, the longer you've had a pair of shoes, the more comfortable they become. They mold to your foot. It's all natural materials. They're made for you. And, and they really become your, you know, shoes. your shoes. Yes. You know. And that's so that's why Goodyear good. welting is important is because, you know, what that allows is, uh, you know, for the shoe to be resold without, you know, really destroying or throwing away all that, I guess, evolution that happens as you wear totally. the shoe. Totally. It's, it's an evolution, mm -hmm. it's an effort that you put knowing the angle. Yeah. I think that many people at the beginning struggle mm -hmm. to break in shoes to, they, because they don't know the end result. They haven't yeah. experienced it yeah, yet. Yeah, that's right. Once you know, I think it becomes a little bit of an addiction. <laughs> it does. When yeah. you, well, yeah. Carmina knows about this, I'm sure, more than anyone, because you have a lot of really <laughs> fanatical clients yeah. that are very loyal, yeah, they, right? I mean, it's easy, I mean, as you say, you know, once you experience, you really can't go back. I mean, it's like, you know, once the truth is revealed, there is no returning. I wouldn't think so. you're so. destroying us. This is like, you know, <laughs> it's an addiction. You no. Know? <laughs> and it's made all the worse by, um, you know, uh, the customization that Carmina offers, which yes. is a whole nother, you know, world. I mean, you know, you've got hundreds of models, you know, here in the store, but every single one of these models can be made or commissioned uh, as a one of one through the factory. Again, Carmina having two boutiques here in mm -hmm. New York is that, you know, if you're someone that's concerned about fit and there's only one way, you know, to really explore fit and that's by trying on shoes, mm -hmm. is that someone that's traveling through New York or that has, you know, the good luck of being in New York, right? Those in New York are, are lucky to have these things, you know, <laughs> here, you know, local. Yeah. But, you know, for those of us that aren't in New York, if we're traveling through the city, which a lot of us come to New York often on business, you can come into the boutique and you know try these uh, all these shoes on to you know find out what uh, you know which last uh, which size exactly. you know really gives you that perfect fit. It does, and it's as we were saying, it's the leather, it's the last, is the fit, mm -hmm. is a combination of everything. Is seeing the store, talking to the people. Uh, you know, but for those that aren't able to come visit the boutiques mm -hmm. here in New York, uh, how does one kind of go about exploring uh, that proper fit? So, well, we have two options. Mm -hmm. You have a great team in Spain, a customer service team, which works with measurements. So measure your food, they're going to, you know, tell you your size, what last would fit you best, and mm -hmm. so on. That's one option. But then we have another team here that also is available during working hours yeah. every single day, where can show you based on their experience on feeds and mm -hmm. we will ask for your past you know what purchase you behaviors wore, yeah. mm -hmm. and so on so we will be able yeah. we are able to yeah so the team is able to kind of help walk mm -hmm. customers through that process totally. and then you know if a customer were to buy a pair of shoes online and ship them and they you know they don't fit i mean they can send them back and exchange it for another size yes we always send them a return label mm -hmm. we we make it easy. We understand we're not everywhere, and we're thankful that people are actually yeah. trying from and risking it. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of investment of time and effort in the beginning, but mm -hmm. once you know what size you wear, well, totally. then you know you never have to really worry That's about that again. That's the beauty of it. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things that we saw in Mallorca at the factory, yes. uh, of course, is that 50% of all the shoes that you are making yes. are custom. You know, made to order. You know, one of ones. And, you know, it's hard to imagine that, you know, we've got hundreds of models in this shop. I mean, that's hard. It's, it's impossible to imagine that someone couldn't come in and fall in love with a pair of shoes. But if someone has a really specific idea or if they, you know, want something that, you know, they, you know, that you're not making, I mean, you guys can do it as a custom shoe. Totally. And it's something that one thing we learned is that people really like it. People feel like even just putting their initials, mm -hmm. they're creating their own shoe, sure, yeah. which makes it special for mm -hmm. them. And therefore we started, I don't know if you remember, but our first custom program was a drawing. And okay. you were selecting the pieces, but you would never see the end result. And we thought it would be important for the end for the final consumer to see the end product. And that's why we put so much effort in this new three-dimensional- Customization tool, yeah. Customization tool, which, I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. And, 
You know, yeah. it's, I have to say it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine to go on the website <laughs> and like play around with shoes. It's like, yeah. you know, you know, like uh, BMW, you can go onto their website and kind of build your car and add all the bells and whistles <laughs> and, you know, yeah. see what you can make, you know. Yeah. And so, you know, Carmina has that on the website, mm. the ability to do that with any model. Uh, and it's relatively, I mean, not relatively, it's extremely detailed in that like on this shoe, I mean, you literally can visualize every single pattern piece can be made from a different material if it's, you so choose. Yeah, it's very funny. At the beginning, we had clients and they were like, what is fudging? Oh, yeah. what is this? Yeah. Oh, what is anyways? Like, it was beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. It allowed us to introduce new terms to, to them yeah. and for them to see that it's a lot of tiny, small details that make the full product, yeah. right? And that they could choose every single one of them and that yeah. yeah. However, I mean, if you can dream it, you know, Carmina can make it. So uh, <laughs> whenever I was in Mallorca, of course, mm -hmm. I had a pair of shoes made for myself, mm -hmm. right? And we filmed uh, those shoes being made uh, on that video, mm -hmm. uh, but we have them here, don't we? We brought them for you. Yeah. They're right here. Can we grab them? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. Yeah. Yeah. So here they are. Wow. I mean, uh, what a beautiful pair of shoes. So this is a great example of that, um, the customization program. So I was in the store in Mallorca, mm -hmm. right? And I had just uh, bought a beautiful vintage suit in London at Hornets Vintage, you know, with Max Faux. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I need a pair of spectators. And so this is a great example of a model that, you know, you would never find as a part of someone's ready to wear collection because exactly. it's such an obscure shoe, mm -hmm. but that you were able to make you know, uh, and not just make, but make exactly how I wanted it. You know, with the canvas, you know, the new uh, toe plates. I mean, yes. look at these things, amazing. Yes, I I personally love them. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I want them in all my shoes. Again, even in addition to choosing the last, right? The model, the materials was also Carmina's ability to modify uh, the fit a little exactly. bit. Exactly, do you remember that your instep was a mm -hmm. bit tight at the beginning? Yeah. So um, that is a great option for many of our clients. A benefit when you come to the store or when you talk to one of our team members is that we know where to modify. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you know, it's close to bespoke, it's yeah. not there. We're working on something that hopefully will allow us to... Get even closer, really. So what, get, you must share. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on the works, okay. but I think it's... It's going to be a great way to, to achieve a bespoke okay. pair of shoes um, from any part of the, in the world. Okay, so really Mata, I guess, you know, achieving even more kind of fit variation uh, and even shape. Even shape. Yeah. Yeah, wow. to your foot. Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> well, you're being, uh, you know, really secretive with me, <laughs> but, um, uh, but uh, it's, it's no surprise, I mean, after having met you know, your father, you know, Alessandro, mm. you, know, you know, the entire team in Mallorca. I mean, it's incredible to me, you know, just how much Carmina continues to push, right? I mean, so that incredible history, you know, 30 years, you know, you know, making shoes at the factory in Mallorca, 150 as a family, right? But, you know, still continuing to develop and push the craft to really embellish those of us that are passionate <laughs> about shoes. Every generation has to improve. That has to improve something within the company. That's that's the way. Yeah, well, I have, again, uh, an even more profound respect for the shoes that Carmina is making. I mean, the integrity behind uh, the construction, the commitment to the quality, to the craftsmanship, mm -hmm. uh, you know, honoring that tradition, um, and then continuing to push forward is, you know, why I've, you know, Carmina has developed a cult following amongst the shoe aficionados. It's important for us to keep going, never stopping, there's a lot of room for improvement. Even in our collection, we're aware that we have to improve a ton yeah. and we keep working on it on a daily basis. And yeah. Rome wasn't built in one day. That's right. Uh, that is uh, indeed true. But, um, you know, just like Rome was an incredible empire, I mean, Carmina is building just an absolutely incredible company. Thanks and, you so know, I have to say, for those of us passionate about quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. For those of us that love shoes, I have to say that I've always had such a profound respect 
uh, for the company, for the shoes, and the proof is in the pudding, you know, Thanks. at the end of the day. And that's what's allowed Carmina to really develop, you know, what I have to say has kind of become a cult following. I mean, there is an ardent yeah. group of, yeah. you know, shoe fanatics that, um, you know, that love Carmina and, and just enjoy having shoes made. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, well, Carmina, you know, thank you so much for showing me the beautiful boutique. I mean, two boutiques here in uh, New York City, an incredible web shop, a uh, great team back at the factory in Mallorca. Uh, of course, we've got the factory tour for anyone that wants yes. to see, uh, yes. you know, exactly how a pair of shoes was made and specifically these shoes. These shoes, um, exactly. But uh, thank you for sharing you know, kind of your passion with us. Thank you for us. coming. Yeah. It was so good seeing you again. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so there we are, Carmina's Madison Avenue Boutique. Of course, one of two locations they have in New York City. And then, of course, the website uh, where all of their models are available, as well as their 3D customization tool. Um, and I have to say, I mean, if you're in New York, uh, don't miss the opportunity to stop by the boutique uh, to see their absolutely incredible range of shoes uh, in person, to hold them, uh, to take a look at those nuanced details of a pair of Carminas uh, that really set them apart. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching. Thank you.